Hello guys, Martin here coming to you with my inbox review for the Ravel Arado AR196 A-3 seaplane 130 second scale kit number 04688 this is going to be my next build which will be entered into the Mad Modeler's Go Big or Go Home group build and also Jermaine Oskin, that's 8 foot Iceman um, is group build on the International Scale Modelers Forum that's called uh, Big Bird Buddy Build so it's going into two um, group builds anyway I bought this kit you can see the price on there the retail price was $37.75 from Obby Town USA but I, at the time I bought it I had a $7.50 coupon so it only cost me $30.25 about 20 pounds in the UK so let's open her up and let's see what she got well let's have a look at the artwork on the box um, nice artwork um, a couple in flight there and on the back the usual Ravel stuff school levels this is a school level 5 which is the highest skill level um, being the most difficult with over usually part over 150 parts requiring a high level of skill on this side of the box we have some nice images showing the plane built up and some of the details that come within this kit and uh, just one moment there's glare from the window I'm going to adjust that let's see how that looks that's better so um yeah, some nice images. Looks like it's got some nice detail. And then here we have the paint guide. Um, and then on this side, we have some history on it in um, four languages. German, English, French and Dutch. So let's open her up. Let's see what we've got inside. It's an end opener, as usual with the new um, Ravel boxes. Comes with a lot of plastic. A couple of leaflets I won't look at. I'm only interested in what we're going to be building. So, plastic wise, we have one bag containing the clear sprues. And we have one, two, three, four five bags, separate bags containing light grey sprues now let's count the sprues <clears throat> in this bag there's two sprues two sprues in there so that's four two sprues in that one that's six sprues one two three in there so that's nine sprues and then in the last bag there's one two three four sprues in there so a total of 13 light grey sprues and one clear sprue a lot of plastic for thirty dollars um, and then we have the instruction booklet which is in black and white <coughs> we go to the back pages it's um, showing the options for two um, group markings and uh, it has 58 stages of um, assembly where the decals are over there isn't it? yeah here we have a sheet of decals let's have a look at these I've never had problems with Ravel decals I actually like them a lot like the Airfix decals printed in 2000 by Ravel which is the same date on the box so this model is a 2010 new tooling the uh, decals are a sort of satin finish and are very thin look very good and I can't see any carrier film on the edges just in the corners there's like a radius so I guess that makes it easier for um, printing to have that radius but everything else uh, I, c 
can't cannot see any carrier film. It's like the day cows are right to the edge. Doesn't come with any um, swastikas, so you're going to have to use aftermarket day cows for tailplane swastikas for the vertical stabilizer. Um, so they look great, and uh, with all the Revell kits I've done, I've never had issues with Revell day cows. So a quick look at the instruction booklet. Again, it comes with some history here in German first and then English. This is a Revell Germany kit, so we know it's going to be good. They're usually a lot better than the Revell USA kits. Um, <clears throat> just the usual um, symbols and descriptions on what those symbols mean that you're going to find within the assembler. Uh, all the paints that we're going to use. Paints are alf alphabetically itemized from A through to T. And uh, A is a mixture of two paints, Schwarzgrün and Dunkelgrün. But that's how they list them. And here it sh this page shows all the sprues um, that we have in there. 13 light grey and one clear. And as usual, we start with the cockpit. From what I'm seeing, it's really nicely detailed. Um, I know there's some rigging has to go on this. Bit of rigging. It doesn't come with any uh, rigging. So I'll use some easy line for whatever I have to do the rigging. But I'm not going to go through this because there's 57 stages and we'll be here all day doing that. I just want this to be a quick review. But I will look at the plastic in detail. But I'll just quickly skip through it. As you can see, nice framework. Looks like there's a lot of detail in that cockpit, uh, which is great. I like nicely detailed kits. You can get aftermarket stuff. Uh, photo etch for the um, instrument panels you can get resin seats for the gunner seat and the pilot seat and you get photo etch for the uh, for the machine guns that come with this kit so yeah, I'm not going to bother going through that guys, it's a lot to go through and I don't want to bore you guys, but as usual, it's two squadron markings. Um, first one is Arado uh, AR196A3 of 3 KG100 at Kalamaki Creek, January 1943, and uh, the second option is for the Board Fliegergruppe 196 on board of German battleship Tirpitz, summer of 1943. These were the primary um, planes that were used on all ships from 1938 onwards, I believe, in um, in the German Navy. And. Uh, I'm not sure which squadron markings I'm going to do. I'll decide when I get around to building it. But let's have a look at the plastic because it's the plastic that we're building and what we're interested in, how nice it looks. Whether it's crisp and clean, free of sink marks, free of ejection marks on seen surfaces, no warping, etc. etc. So I'm going to the first bag that has the most screws in. And uh, bags are sealed with sellotape. And this bag we have the four sprues in, containing the wings. We have the upper wing sections on this sprue. It looks like horizontal stabilizer, upper section. So these are the upper sections for the re rear horizontal stabilizers and the main wings. They have nice recessed panel lines very clean mouldings. Um, I'm not seeing any flash 
I'm not seeing any stress marks or visible um, blemishes on the outside surfaces, which is nice. Uh, shut off features on these areas look clean, free of flash. Uh, it's got the Revell marking in here 2010 Revell GmbH and Company KG. Uh, so it's only a five year old kit now. So that looks good. Lower wings, I'm guessing recesses for struts for supporting the underwing. Um, floats and again lovely detail on here nice recessed panel lines very crisp parts very nice and that's the lower rear stabilizer and again that's, that looks really good guys looks like a nice kit here we go for the starboard fuselage off it's got nice um, ribbon detail in here, skin detail if you can see that. It's got some nice details in here where because you can have the option to have the wings folded back on this or closed you can have one folded back, uh, one closed, have them both folded back, have them both closed. But again these mouldings look really crisp some rivet details around the end there where the uh, skins come under the metalwork on the end there. Um, these look like flaps for the main wings, upper and lower, I guess. And uh, this part here, I'm not sure what that is. Probably part of the stand or part of the folding mechanisms. Can't tell right off, but I'm not seeing any flash, not seeing any warp, no blemishes. It looks beautiful. Let's go on to the next one. This is the port side. Again, nice detail there inside that wing frame. Rivet details around the uh, front area. And then again we've got the nice skin going over the uh, internal struts and braces. Looks really nice. So that's the first four. Go to the next sprue. This bag has um, two sprues in it. One is obviously the base that we sit this on whether I use that or whether I put it on my own base which I've never done before I'm guessing this might be something to do with uh, either the part of the base structure but it's got kind of a shape for a no it's not the cockpit that's the cockpit floor on that one um, but again mouldings are really clean really nicely done no flash whatsoever. Cockpit floor. It's got some nice surface detail. Some texture there. Everywhere else looks smooth, but here it's got some EDM texture. Um, don't know whether that's been done by Mold Tech, um, which is a company that does textures for the molding industries. And they have uh, hundreds of different textures that they can photo etch when they uh, apply textures to injection molded parts or they just done it with their EDM settings you can do certain textures using your EDM settings on on your um, EDM machines but that looks very crisp very nice and this is the framework around the cockpit and inside there we've got consoles um, which look great I love in all this detail oops excuse me lads bad timing for someone to call me uh, this looks like a under, under the cockpit area the sub uh, fuselage area so the 
port side and starboard sides will connect to that and then the wings will come from here. This is the rudder for the vertical stabiliser and everything looks crisp and clean. So let's move on to the next part. So we're going to open the third bag now and tape down really well. This bag has a couple of sprues in, a smaller sprue and a longer sprue. This has the floats and uh, we have two halves of a float there. And again, very nice recessed panel lines. Very crisp mouldings. These are really nice. But German engineering is, as we know in the engineering industry, is very, very good. Uh, paddles here that come off the back of the floats. And uh, parts of those paddles, I'm guessing some of the mechanisms but really really crisp parts guys I'm really looking forward to handling this stuff and painting it, it looks beautiful um, here we have engine cowling part of the engine cowling and two halves of the bomb and I'm guessing these are some of the parts that go within the engine uh, within the um, cockpit area But again, I'm not seeing any flash at all. These are actually, actually beautiful, crisp parts. I'm really impressed. So, that bag of two sprues looks great. Let's move on to the next bag of two sprues, which is a similar bag to the one we just looked at, with another two halves of floats. Yeah, it's identical to the, these are identical to the last two parts we've just seen, so all I'm going to do is look for flash and uh, any warp, any visible problems. And again, I'm seeing zero issues with that sprue, so let's move on to the smaller sprue with the engine cowl and bomb halves. And again, guys, this is just, seriously, it's beautiful engineering. But it's what we expect from the reputation that the German engineers have within the industry. So I'm going to move on to the last bag of grey sprues before I look at the clear sprues. And in this last bag we have one, two, three grey sprues. Um, first sprue looks like it's the um, top of the floats. Let me just check for my drawing. Yeah, it's the top of the floats, and these are the features where the struts locate into. And again, if you can see that detail, how crisp that is, and how clean these parts are. It's beautiful engineering, beautiful mouldings. And on the uh, spinner, around the shutout features where the prop comes through, there is zero flash. This is really good stuff. Very, very clean. And all these small parts. And the propeller edges. You've got compound surfaces that you have to shut off from one half to the other and you'd expect a little bit of flash in some areas around that propeller because that's um, all compound surfaces shutting off on each other but there is z literally zero flash around the edges of that propeller. That is excellent engineering. And here are the struts all the strut, strut uh, parts that we're going to be using. 
for support in the floats and the plane and I'm going to move on to the next row guys that is this is incredible um, molding work I'm really impressed with this stuff all right so here we are we've got the bottom of the flaps here we saw the uppers uh, no here are the uppers sorry so we got upper and lower flap sections we got another style of propeller so there's obviously two styles of propeller what I am noticing though on this propeller is we do have sink in the thickest area, thickest section and that's quite deep the sink there look on that one and then sink there which is at it and there's partial sink on that blade but they're thick sections and um, if they try to, it's a balance of trying to pack out those thick sections you're going to start uh, blowing the parting areas around the smaller sections and getting flash around those this has all the engine, radial engine details, more cowling uh, mouldings um, part of the interior and interior wall I'm guessing that's front of the engine but the, all these parts apart from the sink in the propeller again look really really nice and I'm going to forgive them the, for the propeller because I've been in the moulding industry all my life and I can understand how thick that section is there why that's occurring the only way they could have done got rid of that is if they used a blowing agent to pack that out but blowing agents are going to leave a marbling effect on the mouldings so again I'm really really pleased with these mouldings guys these parts look great and this engine comes really nicely detailed as you can see all these parts are very very detailed you see all the cylinder heads and the um, pipe work very nicely detailed and again there's zero flash it's incredible for all this detail and the forms and the surfaces that are being shut off on I'm really impressed internal bracing on the wings uh, instrument panel with lots of raised details more instrumentation uh, front of the engine where the spindle comes through for the propeller it's like back part of a seat or base part of a seat it's got some straps on there raised detail indicating um, the pilot's seat belts are just gorgeous detail and I'm not seeing sync on any of these parts but I'm really impressed guys seriously so that's the last of the grey screws so I'm going to move on to the clear sprues now <coughs> excuse me okay let's see what we have in there these are lovely thin nice thin moldings crystal clear I don't know whether you can see that these are beautiful clear molded parts no knit lines on any of the visual areas no blemishes no voids from air traps and there's no um, no blushing from gates but yeah no flash as well these parts look 
I've got to say, I'm going to use the word gorgeous. These are really well engineered and moulded parts, apart from the thick, two th thick sections on three of the sp uh, blades of the propeller, one of the propellers. And I'm not going to grumble by that because I understand it. And uh, just a little couple of spots of filler and it's Bob's your uncle, it's sorted. So anyway, that's it guys. Um, I'm looking forward to building this. Um, so I'm going to move on now, let you guys go. This has been a 25 minute review so far. And uh, I don't want it going any longer because I know you'll just skip through it. And it can get boring watching long detailed reviews. All you need to know guys as model makers out there, these mouldings are really crisp, they look sharp, they look beautiful, zero flash, zero warp, just a couple of bits of sync on that one propeller. Clear parts are clear, gorgeous looking, looks like it's going to be a great build and you can get aftermarket PE and resin parts for this kit. So I'm going to leave it at that guys. Enjoy your model making, keep up the great work. I'm looking forward to uh, putting this together and I hope you follow this build. So I'm going to leave here, I'm going to get these parts washed and prepare them to make a start uh, Monday, Tuesday of next week. It's now Saturday afternoon and it's... Um, what time is it? It's now 5.50 in the evening, Saturday, March the 14th. Um, that's it guys, thanks for watching, Talio, chocks away. There's two sprues, two sprues in there, so that's four. Two sprues in that one, that's six sprues. One, two, three in there, so that's nine sprues. And then in the last bag, there's one, two, three, four sprues in there. So a total of 13 light gray sprues and one clear sprue. A lot of plastic for $30.
Um, and then we have the instruction booklet, which is in black and white. If we go to the back pages. It's um, showing the options for two um, group markings. And uh, it has 58 stages of uh, nice artwork. Um, a couple in flight there. On the back, the usual Ravel stuff, skill levels. This is a skill level 5, which is the highest skill level, um, being the most difficult, with over, usually part over 150 parts requiring a high level of skill. On this side of the box, we have some nice images showing the plane built up, some of the details that come within this kit. and. Uh, just one moment, there's glare from the window. I'm going to adjust that. Let's see how that looks. That's better. So, um, yeah, some nice images. Looks like it's got some nice detail. And then here we have the paint guide. Um, and then on this one, 30 second scale, kit number 04688. This is going to be my next build, which will be entered into the Mad Modeler's Go Big or Go Home group build. And also, Jermaine Oskin, that's 8 foot Iceman, um, is group build on the International Scale Modelers Forum that's called uh, Big Bird Buddy Build. So it's going into two um, group builds. Anyway, I bought this kit. You can see the price on there. The retail price was $37.75 from Obby Town, USA. But I, at the time I bought it, I had a $7.50 coupon, so it only cost me $30.25, about £20 in the UK. So let's open her up and let's see what she got. Well, let's have a look at the artwork on the box. Um, Hello guys, Martin here, coming to you with my inbox review for the Ravel Arado AR196A-3 seaplane. One side, we have some history on it in um, four languages, German, English, French and Dutch. So let's open her up. See what we've got inside. It's an end opener, as usual with the new um, Ravel boxes. Comes with a lot of plastic. A couple of leaflets I won't look at. I'm only interested in what we're going to be building. So, plastic wise, we have one bag containing the clear sprues, and we have one, two, three, for five bags, separate bags containing light grey sprues. Now let's count the sprues. <clears throat> In this bag, 